If you don't know me, my name is Taranjit Singh Rai and yes, I'm an award-winning scientist, senior lecturer, football coach. What I'm not is a financial advisor. These videos are totally for entertainment purposes only. I have a jam-packed lecture today for you, so let's get started. A quick look at the markets. Bitcoin actually has already crossed 70k a few times. It's trying to break that ceiling and once it is above 70k, it's blue skies ahead. Eat. It did touch uh, 4K, which is really, really good. The upcoming narrative will be the ETH ETF. The upcoming narrative will be Bitcoin halving. Also, the way these ETFs work, it's T plus one settlement. So all the money that bought Bitcoin ETFs on Friday, they will be deployed Monday. So I am expecting fireworks, really fireworks this coming week. By the way, folks, I'm only YouTuber on the planet who correctly predicted the Bitcoin bottom during the last beer, when everyone on the planet was saying BTC is going to 10K, BTC is going to 9K with Gareth Salloway and uh, Richard Hart and others. I am the only person who predicted everything correctly. You can watch some of the clips. What I've done here is I've taken all the data and I've classified uh, into bull runs. So the first bull run, Bitcoin went from $30 to $2. The second one from around 1100 something down to less than $200. So these drops, the first drop was 90% and the second drop was 80%. Bottom to properly set in, it almost took five months. For this bottom to set, it almost took one year. So the scales here, don't be confused. So the scales here is just in rupees, kind of show you what a fantastic hedge Bitcoin is against inflation. So the scales are in, in like tens of thousands, where it's hundreds here for the first and the second cycle. For the third cycle, it went up to 20,000, dropped uh, to just above 3,000. And for the fourth, it went up to 69. And I think the bottom was 17K, but the macroeconomic factors are now suggesting that it might drop even further. The drop here was 80%. Drop up till now is approximately 70%, depending upon what exchange you calculate it with. Is there a chance for further 10% drop. Guys, also remember, uh, this 10% extra doesn't mean 10%, okay? It could be 30-40% from the current prices, if you understand what I mean. So if that is the case, then you can expect 12 to 14,000 Bitcoin as the bottom. So if history rhymes itself, the worst case scenario is around 14K. So no one can predict the bottom, no one can do this correctly. You can watch chart after chart after chart. It's not gonna happen. So the best thing for me is DCAing. I'm more DCAing into Ethereum than into Bitcoin. Again, not financial advice. I'm just telling you what I do. Majority thinks it will go way lower. Majority is always wrong. Ask yourself, be true to yourself. Why are you here? Are you here for the community? Are you here for the projects? Are you here to save the world? You're here to make money. That's the hard truth. So you have to do what no one else does. You have to think not like the majority. You have to think like the minority. If the majority is thinking bottom is 12K, I disagree. I think for me, again, I will be, I might be wrong. I think the 17K area was bottom. If it goes down further, thank you very much. I'll DCA. Now that you have seen, I have predicted the bottom correctly. Now let me predict where I think is Bitcoin going. And I do not think there will be massive corrections on the way. By massive, I mean 50% drops. There might be 20 to 30% drawdowns, but that's absolutely normal. Now is not the time to sell. Because now Bitcoin has smashed its all time high before a halving event, this has never ever happened before. Usually Bitcoin will top around one year to one and a half year post halving. So taking all the data together, I think Bitcoin will top around 180 to 220 USD per Bitcoin this coming cycle. Now, if again, if you listen to Kathy Wood, uh, Bitcoin is going to 600K. If you listen to uh, many, many others, some people are even calling for 1 million uh, Bitcoin this cycle. But because I have lost everything last bull cycle, this cycle, I wanna be less greedy and I wanna keep the money. So I will DCA sell and if, you want to know when I'm going to be uh, DCA selling a shameless plug here. You can join my discord and I'll leave a link in the description where we hunt as a small pride group. You know, if you want to succeed in crypto, you have to adopt a minority mindset. You cannot have a majority mindset. Majority mindset is when there are millions and millions of these subscribers in these groups. They're not going to make it. The only small groups that hunt like packs are going to make it. 
If you don't like my channel, find a suitable channel, but find a small group of people who are knowledgeable, who are educated. We are getting 2X, 2X small cap gems. There are several researchers in the group who actually post their picks. Uh, we hunt like a pack. It's, it's really enjoyable, to be honest with you, uh, to be part of this group. This shameless plug is away. Today, I'm gonna compare two protocols, Stride and Lido. They are both two premier protocols in the crypto space. Before I go any further, I am an ambassador lead at Stride Protocol and I manage around 11 ambassadors there. So everything I say should be taken with that pinch of salt, but this particular video is not paid by Stride. It's just from my own volition. So Stride provides liquid staking derivatives for the Cosmos blockchain, whereas Lido provides liquid staking derivatives for ETH. Stride has 12 different blockchains that it supplies the liquid staking derivatives. Lido's sole focus is Ethereum. Lido did try to export to other chains. Their Solana experiment, I don't think is going very well, but overall the protocol is doing sensational. Lido might also come to Cosmos through Neutron, but that's a topic of discussion for some other day. Both protocols are incredibly secure. There is a lot of misnomers about Lido controlling all the ETH governance. But the truth is, the way both protocols actually, even Stride, so if you give Stride your Atom, your Tia, your Osmo, it is decided by governance. So the distribution mechanism of that particular Atom or Osmo is decided by the governance. So it is really nice uh, system. I, 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 would, I like Stride's system better than Lido, but again, that is not a topic of today. Similarly, ETH is given to various validators based upon the Lido DAO. So I would say both are incredibly secure. Both underwent multiple audits. Of course, in crypto, there's always a risk and Lido previously found several bugs several times. They were fixed before any exploit happens. So yeah, you need to understand the risks associated with these liquid stake uh, derivatives as well. Both protocols take 10% fees. In Stride's uh, context, 1.5% goes to Atom stakers because Stride is Atom secure chain and 8.5% goes to the Stride stakers. So Stride shares 100% of its revenue with its stakers. Thanks to US Trolley, there is a 5% tax on the 8.5% that goes to Stride stakers that goes into community pool. Sorry, too much maths, but bear with me, it will make sense. And again, for various tokens, the PAG of ETH to ST ETH, and similarly the PAG of Atom to ST Atom, TIA to ST TIA, it, it, it deviates, but the mechanistics are really amazing. And the way it works is it creates an arbitrage opportunity and that basically results in the repack of the prices. In terms of the founders, they both have three amazing founders each. Vishal, Aiden and Riley for Stride, Konstantin, Veselif and Jordan for Lido. Please Google them, see their backgrounds. It's absolutely amazing. These are talented individuals. I've always taken big bets on teams rather than protocols. And both Lido and Stride have amazing, amazing founders. Okay, so let's just look at the statistics here. So Stride is a relatively new protocol as compared to ETH. And I'm gonna make a case today that upside potential for Stride is much, much higher than Lido. Let's have a quick look at total value locked. So you have 176 million in Stride, whereas you have 39.2 billion in Lido. Again, guys, uh, ETH is very well established smart contract platform, whereas you have in Cosmos, many, many different fragmented sovereign chains, but it's coming up. So Stride is actually a concentrated bet on success of Cosmos. I, I think Ethereum uh, is already a success. So there is not, <laughs> Lido is not a bet. There is absolutely, if, if you look at, let's say if, if Stride decides to do go cross chain, it might happen. But again, Stride for the moment is focusing on 12 chains in Cosmos, Dimension are coming next. So again, in the one of the public Firestride chats, the founder Vishal has confirmed with me that STDYM is uh, coming soon, just because uh, Dimension uses something called optimistic IBC. It is taking some time to launch STDYM, but it is coming. So there is a 200X almost in terms of TVL for Stride to catch up with. The market cap again is 391 million for Stride, whereas it is almost 3 billion for Lido. And again, that tells me there is a growth of about 10x, especially if, if Cosmos succeeds, the TVL will skyrocket, I think. Noble, uh, for example, which natively issues USDC, has already issued 200 million of native USDC, and it is being used in Cosmos. I think 
Cosmos has a bright future. Maybe not Adam. And again, uh, I get a lot of hate on, on Twitter for singling out Adam. But again, not a topic of today. I'm going to stay away from saying anything negative about uh, Adam. Just because <laughs> OGs start barking about the tree value of Adam and we need new people. I want Adam to succeed. I think we need to make Adam uh, attractive uh, to retail. But that's it. That's all I'm going to say. Price per token uh, for Stride is 4.38. Whereas price per token for Lido is 3.35. Now, the reason for this is because Stride only has 100 million tokens. Whereas uh, Lido has 1 billion tokens. So again, there is a 10x in total number of tokens difference between Stride and Lido. Stride has... <laughs> raised peanuts as compared to what Lido have raised. So Lido have raised 167 million from Andreessen uh, Horowitz and, and many, many others, whereas Stride has only raised 10 million. So again, the more Stride captures the TVL, especially with Celestia and also uh, upcoming DYM, I think there will be further funding rounds and there will be many, many crypto VCs uh, wanting to take a, a slice of uh, Stride protocol. Currently, the revenue actually, uh, Vishal tells me that this, this is value is close to 2 million, whereas uh, Lido is at 119 uh, million. So what I'm trying to say here is there is absolutely amazing room for the Stride protocol to grow. And for me, if, if I'm buying today, I'll be buying Stride and not Lido. This is not financial advice, of course. Nothing in this video is uh, financial advice. Now, those are my views and my research and my comparisons. I want to hear what is your viewpoint. Please do let me in the comments. I respond to every single comment because I'm a small YouTuber. I'm only weekend YouTuber. Obliterate that like button and I'll see you in the next video.